Hey, what's up, everyone? Welcome to an episode of Spitting Venom, aka the Venom Vlog. This is episode 149, one episode away from our season one finale. And we'll talk about more of that at the end of this episode. But today, what I want to talk about is something you guys had questions about. And I knew this would happen after the trailer. I knew there would be things that people would speculate on, have questions about, and just in general be curious about. And one of the big things I saw, not only from you guys, but on the internet as well, is will Venom have the spider on his chest? And I'm in the mindset that he won't. I'm thinking he's not going to have it at all. We saw in the blue design, hopefully I have an image popping up here, but of the blue symbiote that's like coming up out of the um, the tube in the room with Jared Bankins, who's playing a character named Isaac, you know, the suit or the symbiote when it was coming out, it was like uh, blue, like dark blue, but it had like these gold veins going through it, almost kind of like spider veins, you know, like how people you'll see with like, uh, you know, thin skin or something, you'll see like blue veins going through them. Uh, it kind of reminded me of that. And I think that's probably going to be the design of the Venom symbiote. And I think it's going to be all black with like these spider veins going through it uh, with white to kind of break up the black. Because from a design standpoint in a movie costume standpoint, you don't want something to be one solid color. It's just not going to visually be interesting. It's not going to be something you want to look at. And especially it's not going to, you know, feel right. Like, uh, you know, works maybe something on like Alien uh, to an extent, like the Xenomorph. That kind of works for that. Uh, but it's all about how they lit it and then they bring it into a room with a red light and they'll bring it into a room. So, you know, you have to, you have to constantly think about how you're going to shoot something that's solid black and uh, and it just can be kind of a nightmare sometimes uh, but it can also make a cool effect at times as well so for this you know i'm thinking because we saw in the shot of venom uh, the high res shot, you'll see like white spider veins kind of going up here. Uh, so you know, that could be interesting. That could be the look. I don't know if we'll actually get the spider. To me, the spider doesn't make sense without Spider-Man. And by the way, people out there who are still saying, oh, you can't make a Venom movie without Spider-Man. In my opinion, you can. I, I thought that way when we started the show, like, eh, I'm going to keep an open mind, but let's see how, let's let the movie and, you know, background information, everything we learn, let's let that convince me. And I've been convinced. After I looked at the character and the heart of the character and what you need to tell for an Eddie Brock Venom story, to me, you don't actually need Spider-Man. It would be ideal if you had him, for sure, uh, but you don't really need him. And we'll make a video on that uh, for people who are just joining this channel who haven't gone back and watched the older videos. We'll make a video on that like in season two uh, late next week. Uh, but for now, I want to talk about this because a lot of you guys were talking about the spider symbol and you said Tom Hardy posted this on his Instagram and so I want to talk about it uh, and kind of you know give you my thoughts on what he was posting here. So this video here is on Tom Hardy's Instagram page and it's basically like a you know a still shot of him he's making a face and then like the background's wiped out it's just focusing on him and then you see a drawing uh, appear around him of the Venom suit and to me what this shows one thing that I got from this more than the spider symbol on his chest which a lot of you were like hey I think this is Tom Hardy confirming the spider symbol I don't know if it's that uh, it could be um, like I said it, it they have to come up with a reason in the story for it to be a spider like Eddie Brock maybe grew up liking spiders as a kid you know or the life foundation has like you know they're, they're maybe they're using spiders in their in their uh, lab testing or something like there has to be a reason for the spider symbol uh, because spider-man's the reason in the comics so if you're taking spider-man out you need a movie reason uh for venom to have the spider on his chest and i don't know if they're going to come up with one or not I, I i don't know uh it would have to be a good one it would have to not feel cheesy or forced in so that's going to be the the big you know hurdle they have to go over if they want to include the spider symbol uh but uh but this this video at least is pretty cool because what it shows me is like the height uh you look at his human face there and then as the drawing comes around you can see he stands like almost a foot bigger and his you know he's his shoulders widen out and that's kind of reminiscent of what we saw in the trailer when he's grabbing scott hayes and he's transforming he kind of grows you know and he gets like a foot taller than him he looks down at him and he's like we are venom you know and he's like holding him and uh you have like you know all this stuff coming around and yeah he looks about like a foot or foot and a half taller because they start off around the same size when he first grabs him uh so that to me is kind of what this showed off more than anything is that how much bigger venom makes him than just uh you know the, the what the suit does to him enhances him and how big it makes them. Uh, but the, the spider is interesting because it is included. So a lot of people were like, oh my goodness, uh, it, look at the spider, it's, it's on there. That's him confirming that we'll see it. It's just not done yet in, in the visual effects and that could totally be the case. Um, but again, like I said, for the movie, 
I would feel like they need a good reason for the spider to show up there. Like maybe he'll say like, I need a symbol. I need to, you know, if I'm going to be an anti-hero and I'm going to take down bad guys, uh, maybe he kind of gets caught up in the fantasy of like, you know, seeing himself as like a, you know, like a superhero type. Like he's just like, wow, like I'm like, if this world doesn't have superheroes and now I'm an enhanced, you know, person, uh, maybe I need a symbol like most superheroes do. Maybe it's something that simple. I don't know. Uh, but uh, I will say in the Scott Hayes scene, he probably doesn't have the symbol, which is why we probably why we only saw the spider veins coming out, because I think that's the first time he actually becomes Venom in the movie. Although you will see uh, other moments like the scene where he's looking into the car and seeing his reflection he'll see like things like that in the in the reflection of the car window um and then he'll you know there'll be other glimmers of the symbiote and the and what it might look like um growing and it's going to evolve like i said i made that video a while back where i think it's going to evolve so it's going to start off with tentacles coming out of him and uh, the suit just coming alive and then it's going to move into him taking a form and then it's going to be move into perfecting that form up until the end of the movie uh, so until his final form. So yeah, that's what I meant by evolution of his character because Ruben Fleischer said he wanted like an evolution type thing because he was thinking of the movie The Fly. Uh, and so that's pretty neat that, you know, we're going to see stages of Venom, you know, throughout this movie. So, um, you know, but yeah, I'm, I'm excited. This in this video was definitely cool to watch and it definitely gets the wheels turning. Uh, but I don't know if it 100% confirms the spider or not, but it definitely confirms how much bigger he gets uh, than, you know, than he normally was. Uh, but the spider would be cool. And I know a lot of you guys want that. So if you do and you have comments on that, let me know down below. Let me know if you have any theories of how the spider could show up on him. Because like I said, it would have to be, we saw in the Life Foundation, one of those images, we saw like a, um, like the outer space stuff. Like when, if you look in the main hall, hopefully I have the picture here and you're in the main hall of the Life Foundation. Um, there was that image where it's like showed like a spaceship, you know, leaving Earth or something. And then it showed like a planet like Mars or maybe even like the moon. I don't even know. I can't tell from the color of it uh, too well. But there was like a little spider robot that was looked like it was digging on the surface of like another planet or a moon. And maybe that's something. Maybe like the Life Foundation is making spider slayers, you know, something. Maybe Alistair Smythe works for them. And we don't know about that yet or something. Uh, could be a lot of things. Uh, but uh, but I, I don't know if we'll see the spider. I'm thinking from a design standpoint, it doesn't make sense without spider-man but maybe the movie will give us something so if you guys have a theory of what that could be let me know down in the comments below and uh, as for the 150th episode let's talk about that real quick so coming up is our 150th episode. I'm going to probably film it, uh, what's today? Today is Saturday, uh, the 26th of April. I'll probably film it tomorrow morning, Sunday, uh, on the 20, uh, 29th. And I'll, um, I, I'll, really what I'm going to do is just kind of sum up everything we've talked about this first season. So it's going to be kind of a recap video a little bit, uh, but not a too in-depth of one. Because mainly what I want to do is I want to just thank you guys uh, for 150 episodes in the span of six months. We only started this show six months ago. My my channel has doubled in subscribers since then thanks to all of you we're almost at a point where i'm going to get monetized again because i was demonetized because i didn't hit like the 4,000 hours or the thousand subscribers you guys helped us get over a thousand subscribers and then now we're almost at 4,000 hours watched and when when i first got demonetized i was around like 1500 hours so you guys helped me get all of those hours watched on this channel for supporting the show. So I am forever in your debt. I really, really appreciate that. And some people ask me like, hey, would you ever start a Patreon so we could you know, help you get better equipment because I'm recording everything on my phone and lately my phone's been acting up big time. Obviously I had to get a new computer and a couple people did ask me about that. I'm still thinking about it. I don't know if I'll go that route yet but I am thinking about it for those who are interested. I also thought about making a Venom Vlog t-shirt, uh, not just because I want one, <laughs> but uh, someone else was like, hey, I'd rock a Venom Vlog t-shirt with the drawing that PJ did of me turning into Venom, like on the front of it. Um, I thought that might be pretty cool. So uh, if you guys are interested in that, you know, let me know. Um, but uh, but yeah, I, 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 I felt like it maybe it's too early for my channel to have like a t-shirt, but then I wanted one for me. So I was like, yeah, I might as well put it on a website. And even if I only sell two of them, you know, it's cool because really, I'm just making one for me. Uh, but uh, but the, the books were given away. You know, this month has been crazy. Venom's 30th anniversary is in May. I was hoping episode 150 would land in May. It, it doesn't look like it's going to, obviously, because we're going to have it up on the probably on Monday morning or Sunday night. Uh, so we're going to be a few days before May, before the official 30th. But we're still going to celebrate a Venom's 30th anniversary by giving away a bunch of digital codes. So all month I've been buying different Marvel books that have like Venom covers, like Venom variant covers, uh, Infinity Countdown and Black Panther. And they all had like these different Venom covers uh, to celebrate his 30 years uh, of, uh, you know, of existing. Uh, this one here is great with Venom on Captain America saving a baby. Uh, but yeah, and then I also got the Mark Bigley variant covers to uh, Venomize that they all connect together. I got some of the lenticular covers. 
of uh, Spider Gwen and other characters that have Venom on them. I got the Mike Diodato Venom 165 variant. And all of these I really bought just for the digital code so I can give them all to you guys. So in the next episode, we're going to give out 30 digital codes. So make sure you're subscribed here. Make sure you don't miss out on that. And if you can, please just try to take one or two codes at the most and save some of the other ones for other people. And I will probably put a lot of those codes in the description box and then some of them in the video themselves just to kind of spread them out a little bit. Uh, but that's just me giving a big thank you to you guys uh, for supporting this show for the past six months and being here with me as we get into the second phase of Venom where we're going to talk about a lot of cool stuff. But I'll go over all that in the next episode. So for today, tell me what you think of this video that Tom Hardy posted. Let me know what your theories are on the spider symbol. How could that show up in the movie? And we will come back with an episode, another episode very, very soon. Thanks for watching my channel. Like, share, subscribe, all that fun stuff. See you in the future. Peace.